It's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for another mini awesome cast and another real quick, real quick uh, uh, little tidbit from our folks at Polygon.com. Uh, they had an article up here. Uh, why do people choose to buy a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One, or a Wii U? And they got a pretty uh, some interesting information going on here. Top factors. Uh, we're talking about PlayStation 4 uh, from from highest to lowest uh according to this poll better resolution blu-ray player game library faster processing power what the family wants xbox one goes brand innovative features faster processing power exclusive games and content and fun factor nintendo wii u starts off with fun factor better for kids price and value backwards compatibility and exclusive games and content um really intriguing to see that uh you know what what (sighs) Sony, for the last two generations, has definitely been the most powerful across the board, uh, at least perceptively. And uh, the Blu-ray player, which actually isn't a Blu-ray player, a part of the Xbox One now, but uh, maybe maybe brand-wise, they just say, oh, Sony's the one with the Blu-ray player, and, and, and we decide to pick on that. Um, Nintendo Wii U also kind of... Uh, uh, in there, uh, you know, a, a fun factor, better for kids. Yeah, I guess say if it's the one you're going to get for kids, it's probably going to be the Wii. Plus, it is it is a little cheaper than the other ones. You do have this library of games. I think that's a big consideration, especially for cost-conscious parents looking for the best option for their kids there, um, that you can get the Wii U and not have to worry about stacking Xboxes, stacking Playstations, which I think is a big problem. You know, a lot of people still want to play these games. They're not that old, you know. Um and honestly, I'm still in the point where I don't really see the advantage of getting a new console at this point. I'm loving, I think graphics are still amazing on a 360, just not there yet. You're not selling me on it, on the graphic prowess. And the games, I mean, it's going to get to a point where, yes, so for me, um, I'm going to want the games that are on there. But it's not there yet. Nothing's really popped out at me. You know, so many re-releases. Grand Theft Auto V, really? Do I need another version of that? Sure, it's going to look a little better, um, certainly. But it just doesn't seem like it's a $400 decision uh, at this point. Um, And then they have another one. Lifetime console ownership amongst U.S. uh, households. Um, Also, kind of interesting. They're talking about, uh, you know, what percentage owned uh, PlayStation 4. and Or people that owned PlayStation 4, what percentage owned... um, you know, the previous consoles, and uh, it, it's pretty, <laughs> interestingly though, with the PlayStation 4, there's not like a giant percentage that owned the PlayStation before, with 66% owned, owned a PlayStation 3, uh, 72 owned a Wii, the highest percentage across all of this is the Wii, no matter what they bought in this generation, which kind of shows, because I mean, the Wii was really interesting, because it was... I went out because it was, uh, what was it, like 200, 250 bucks when it came out? That seemed like a no-brainer when everything else was four to $500, $600 even, I think, in the case of the PlayStation 3. Um, that they offered that, that was pretty comparable. Um, obviously a little underpowered, but it, it was intriguing because it was a Wii and it, it had a different play style. Um, it made sense. And I don't think the Wii U offered that because they insisted to include this tablet pretty much in it um and they kind of lost some uh, some some traction there so what do you think of this what do you think of uh what why did you pick or are you going to pick um a certain console of this generation uh, let us know at awesome cast on twitter i'm at sorgatron on twitter please comment on the youtube subscribe if you're digging this kind of stuff and we'll see you guys next time This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.